I am Dr. Anand Babu, orthopedic surgeon at Care Hospital, Mushirabad. Today, we will discuss about uh, shoulder joint dislocation. So, in shoulder joint dislocation, people either have uh, sports injuries during sports injuries or due to falls, uh, they dislocate uh, their shoulder and the short the ball and socket joint in the shoulder uh, is having a cup cup like uh, structure and a round ball which sits in the cup so this ball comes out of the cup because of the uh, tear in the muscles and soft tissues around the shoulder so this uh, dislocation can be uh, either uh, to the front or to the side or to the back or to the uh, in a downward direction so most commonly we see a, a dislocation towards the front of the joint so usually uh, it is seen among people following a trivial uh, trauma and uh, those people may have some weakness of the soft tissues also in the front of the knee uh, joint so uh, this is called a, a Bancourt lesion. In a Bancourt lesion, the uh, attachment at the cup called glenoid labrum uh, gets damaged. Thereby, it allows the uh, shoulder joint ball to slip outwards from the cup. So, the initially in the first attack, when you have uh, first shoulder dislocation, we give anesthesia and uh, reduce the joint back into its position and uh, keep uh, the hand immobilized in a uh, shoulder immobilizer uh, for a, a variable period of about three to six weeks. So then we will assess uh, the patient uh, and uh, slowly start uh, movement and physiotherapy and uh, uh, most, of, most often uh, uh, the shoulder dislocation gets cured. But in some unfortunate people, uh, the tissues doesn't heal and thereby even after immobilizing for uh, four to six weeks, the shoulder uh, com continues to um, dislocate again and again. So these people are candidates for surgery. So in the surgery, uh, because uh, nowadays there is an advance like a laparoscopic surgery, uh, in orthopedics, it's called arthroscopic surgery. We do with a small incisions, small keyhole incisions, and we put a camera inside and uh, thereby visualize the joint and the uh, damage, uh, damage to the joint is also assessed and uh, uh, repair the tissues with uh, suture anchors. E these suture anchors uh, we deploy into the cup part, that the glenoid um, part, and uh, the stitches are taken down into the uh, torn tissues and uh, they are tied back to the original position on the uh, glenoid cup. So, and after this surgery, um, patients will be immobilized for a few uh, days and slowly movements will be started. And uh, this is a minimally invasive form and uh, with a quick recovery uh, because there are no bigger incisions, uh, people recover fast. And in some <clears throat> some cases where there is a bone loss also, uh, in addition to dislocation, we use a uh, bony procedures like uh, we put a bone chunk uh, into the cup to deepen the cup or to uh, reduce the risk of uh, re-dislocation after surgery. So these are the methods we employ uh, for um, difficult cases which do, uh, do not respond with uh, uh, conservative uh, treatment uh, without surgery. Thank you. Please visit Care Mushirabad if you have any queries uh, about your shoulder problems.